So today's topic is about the measurement of visual acuity in infants and children. You know that in adults, we use the recognition acuity tests. Like we use different acuity charts like Logmar. We use, uh, you can say the Snellen acuity charts. These charts are recognition acuity charts. Like we have to recognize the optotypes. We have to recognize the numbers. We have to recognize the E pattern. We have to recognize different letters we have to recognize different shapes of the optotypes right so these acuity charts are called the recognition acuity chart because we have to recognize different shapes of the optotypes but these types of tests cannot be used in the children in the adults with multiple handicaps and in these types of individuals like in the children or in the infants we have to use grating acuity tests like we have to use one of the tests is called the LIA grading paddles. We have to use these kinds of charts. When these paddles, as you can see, when these paddles will introduce before the patient's eye, right? Then the patient will detect these parallel lines of black and white strip pattern, right? And when actually we have to show the patients these two patterns like in my right hand i have a pattern of gray color which is totally gray as you can see and in my left eye i, ha I have a strip pattern of black and white lines right so we have to show these two patterns to the patient right in such a way that when i will show these lines like this the patient or the child or the infant will more likely to detect this strip pattern as compared to the gray pattern right because there is more to see in this pattern and you see this is more attractive these black and white lines are more attractive they have attraction so the child to so the child will attract towards this side now what are actually the gratings we can define the gratings in terms of frequency like the numbers of pairs of black and white strips for the cycles what are actually the cycle the cycle is one black and one white line this is called one cycle right so we can define the gratings in terms of frequency for example the numbers of black and white strips or the cycles within one degree of visual angle right now what is actually the visual angle you know that the visual angle is actually an angle if i'm looking at the camera the light rays are coming from the camera and these light rays are making an angle at my nodal point so this angle is called the visual angle so what is actually the definition of the gratings that the numbers of pairs of black and white strips or the cycle within one degree of visual angle and when these gratings will be printed on the surface it can also be defined as the number of cycles per centimeter of the surface. So remember one thing that the distance between these strip pattern of black and white line and the patient's eye would be 57 centimeter. And remember one more thing which is most important that every centimeter the distance is 57 centimeter right it can be varied it can be modified it can be it could be more than 57 centimeter in some cases and in some cases it could be less than 57 centimeter but the standard distance would be 57 centimeter as you see the fixed distance in Snellen acuity chart is 6 meter and standard distance when we performing the retinoscope retinoscopy the standard distance is 67 centimeter but it can vary right so in this case the standard distance between the patient and this strip pattern is 57 centimeter but it can be varied it can be greater than 57 centimeter it can be lower than 57 centimeter right but remember one thing that from that 57 centimeter each one centimeter will make a one degree of visual angle at patient's nodal point said the standard distance is 57 centimeter it could be more than 57 it could be more than it could be less than 57 suppose the distance is half of the 57 centimeter then remember 
the number of cycles per degree would be half right if the distance is half of the 57 centimeter then number of cycles right the number of cycles you know the cycle cycle is actually one black and one white line this is cycle so if we reduce the distance right from 57 to half of the 57 the number of cycles per degree will be half right and if we double the 57 centimeter suppose if we increase the distance right then what will happen if we uh, make the standard distance uh, double the 57 centimeter which is more or less uh, 114 114 centimeter then remember the number of cycles per degree will be double there are some instructions which have which you have to keep it in mind and the first instructions is your background while you are performing this task your background should your background should be in lighter tone right like this background this is fine right and including the clothes of the examiner the clothes or the shirt of the examiner is important you are not likely to wear a stripped pattern shirts right uh, you can wear a, a shirt like in uh, lighter gray color or you can wear a shirt in any of the dark color like i'm wearing the maroon color this is perfect for the test right and one more thing that uh, examiner should not be handsome and good, good looking like me so it can distract your patient it's a joke let's come to the test now and now we will learn that how we can perform this test right how we will present these patterns to the patient so the standard distance is 57 centimeter as you know and you have to hold these two patterns this is gray pattern and this is strip pattern right you have to hold like this right the patient is at 57 centimeter you can imagine and you have to hold these strip pattern like this the gray pattern is above and this strip pattern is below and you have to move these patterns like this right and you can see the patient will attract toward this strip pattern because there is nothing to see at this gray pattern and there is a lot of things to see at this pattern right and then if the patient is detecting this then the visual acuity is fine right it's dynamic visual acuity is fine right and then you will move it like this right the gray pattern is in the front side and in the back side the strip pattern and you will show to the patients like this right so the patient will detect these strip pattern as compared to his gray pattern right and then we will decrease the width of the cycles as you can see and now like this the patient will attract these and then again like this right if the patient is still detecting the strip pattern then the visual acuity is fine right and now again at the front side the gray pattern at the back side is strip pattern like this and you have to move like this and you will hide it and then again like this right so this is how we can present these patterns to the patient now we will learn about the presentation of the stimuli remember that you will perform the test as you are playing with the patient you are playing with the child you are playing with the infant like the situation of the test should be comfortable should be friendly right and remember if you are presenting these patterns to the patients and if the patient is not detecting these gratings not detecting these strip pattern right then a damage then it could be a damage in the cortical areas of the patient you know the cortical area the visual cortex which is actually the vision area in our brain in our central nervous system right so if the patient if, if damage is there if the lesion is there in the cortical area of the brain of the central nervous system then the patient would be unable to detect this strip pattern right this is case number one and in case number two if you are moving this gray pattern and strip pattern 
away from each other then some children look confused to follow the strip pattern right and when we stop it they make a quick shift towards the gratings right so it reveals it show it represent that the dynamic visual acuity of our patient is slow right the patient feel difficulty in moving objects and when the test is completed then the results should be expressed in cycles per degree so as you can see this is gray pattern and the value is 0.0, .0 cpcm cpcm means cycles per centimeter right this is gray pattern and this is the grading is in bigger size and the values is 0 0.25 cycles per centimeter right if the patient is detecting then the visual acuity would be 0 0.25 cycles per centimeter right the visual acuity should be expressed in cycles per centimeter or in cycles per degree right and if we switch if patient is detecting this pattern then the visual acuity is 0 0.5 cycles per centimeter right and now this pattern with least width as you see if patient is detecting this strip pattern then the acuity is 1.0 cycles per centimeter right and if i switch if i flip then if patient is detecting this with the least width of the gratings then the visual acuity will be expressed in 2.0 cycles per centimeter right and again with more least pattern and if patient is detecting this pattern then the acuity is 4.0 cycles per centimeter right and if i flip you see this is very eye catching and if the patient is detecting this acuity then the visual acuity if patient is detecting this strip pattern with least and least width then the acuity would be 8.0 cycles per centimeter hope this is clear and now let's learn some important points on whiteboard now we will prove that why we take 57 centimeter as our standard distance right from where this 57 centimeter is coming from right so you know that if i draw a circle over here right this is called the dia and half of it is called radius right r and this circle is called the circumference now suppose that the circumference of this circle is 360 if we measure the circumference uh, the supposed value of the circumference of the circle is 360 centimeter then the formula would be r is equal to distance for example then the formula would, would be 367 360 centimeter over 2 pi this is the standard formula right now we will solve it 360 centimeter over 2 the value of the pi you know is 3.14 this is constant and now 360 over 2 into 3.14 is equal to 6.28 and the final value would be 57 point more or less 2 centimeter so the standard distance is 57.2 centimeter now we will learn that how can we express our detected visual acuity like i have shown these values cycles per centimeter values on these pedals right we have seen it and now the formula is distance we used over standard distance into cpcm right distance we used from which distance we are measuring the visual acuity right we will write it down and what is the standard distance which is 57.2 centimeter right and 
what is cpcm cpcm are these values on this strip pattern we have no right we know that these values on these pedals are called cpcm cycles per centimeter right so now we are need to learn that how can we express our detected visual acuity right so this is the formula suppose we used our test distance which is 57 centimeter which distance we used 57.2 we used and what is the standard distance is the same 57.2 right and which pedal we used suppose we used this pedal right and cpcm value is 0.25 it's written on it right nothing to worry so cpcm cycles per centimeter value is 0.25 and now we will calculate it 57.2 over 57.2 is 1 and the remaining value is 0.25 so 0.25 is now cycles per degree so with this pattern which is cpcm value is 0.25 our detected visual acuity which we expressed is 0.25 cycles per degree and we have to express our visual acuity in cycles per degree form and now another example and that is suppose we used test distance 118 right 118 is our distance which we used in the test right and the standard distance is you know 57.2 and we used we want to detect the visual acuity of this pattern with the least width of the strip pattern and that is i can see 8.0 the cpcm value is 8.0 right and now we will solve it 118 over 57.2 the value would be 2.06 now multiply with 8.0 and the value would be 16.5 right c p d cycles per degree so our visual acuity at our distance which was 118 centimeter right with the least width of this strip pattern with the cpm value is cpcm value is 8.0 then our cycles per degree value would be 16.5 hope this is clear and in the next video we will come with the more information regarding the lear gratings paddles